Gotcha. Now, when we talk cub, just so everybody knows, this is the part that really attaches to the syringe. Yeah, exactly. Now, isn't there also different kinds? Some of these are locks, some of them are slip-ons. Is, is that, am I right in yeah, thinking So that? usually the lock and the slip-on is when we talk about the syringe. We will okay. have syringes that you can actually screw the needle down into, like we have with our Prima shot that has a locking hub on here. So when we're in a situation where we're giving multiple injections, the needle does not slip off. So you can screw the needle down in there uh, and it doesn't pull off. And then many times uh, single use syringes will have a slip on um, end on them uh, where gotcha. the needle just slips on and slips off. Now, when we think about uh, these multiple dose syringes, I know that we might have a couple different things for giving cows, whether that's vaccinations, antibiotics. Is there a lot of worry that we should have about mixing up these syringes or keeping them separate? Yeah, so it's, it's always important that we make sure we know what we're injecting into that animal. So these Prima Shot guns have these little ends that can be changed in and out yeah. for different colors. So you can use different vaccines with different colors and that helps you kind of keep straight what you've got in each syringe. Because many times when we're vaccinating animals, we're giving them multiple vaccines because we like to make sure that we are, are using our time wisely and we run them through the chute as little as we possibly can. Now, would that be over the lifetime? of this syringe of once I use it for a vaccination, it's always gonna be used for vaccinations or so after I clean it, can I switch them or no? After you clean it, you should be able to switch it oh, and okay. feel comfortable. As long as you clean it well, it, it, there shouldn't be any issue. Um, and then once you have cleaned it and put it back together, um, you, you, should, you should read the owner's manual because there's probably some sort of lubrication that you okay. need to put in there to make sure that the gun functions properly. Great. Well, we thank you so much for taking the time to answer our questions. You've clearly been a great source of information for us today.